The new Jengzhou Museum was open to the public on May 1, 2021. Its opening ceremony started with the Yellow River Treasures, cultural relics exhibition from nine provinces along the Yellow River, one of the China Yellow River Culture Month activities. Hello, I'm Basma from Morocco. Today, I will take you to have a look at the cultural relics from nine provinces and autonomous regions along the Yellow River. What did the ancestors' dance look like? Qinghai Province, the source of the Yellow River, presents a treasure of the Qinghai Provincial Museum, painted pottery basin with dancing figures. This painted pottery basin is one of the five painted pottery basins discoveries with dancing figures in the Ma Jiayao cultural period. It was excavated at the Zongrei site in Tongde County, Qinghai Province, as a treasure of Ma Jiayao culture in the Neolithic period, over 5,000 years ago. The highlight of this pottery basin is the pattern in the inner wall which depicts a vivid scene of dancing Chinese ancestors hand in hand. What is it like to live in Bashu during the Warring States period? Sichuan province, where the first bay of nine curves of the Yellow River lies, presents the bronze pot with a land and water bottle scene design. On this nearly 40.3 cm high pot, there are more than 200 different figures carved in four layers. Reflecting the production activities, life, military and folk costumes in Bashu over 2,300 years ago, the third layer even depicts a fierce battle. The pot body also depicts a vivid scene of ancient people fighting on the water. Sailors paddle hard, soldiers jump onto enemy's boats, and some people beat drums at the stern of the boat to cheer on their troops. What did the exquisite art of painted pottery in prehistoric China look like? Gansu province, where the Yellow River stretches far onto the white clouds, presents the painted pottery bottle with a human head-shaped opening. This painted pottery bottle with a human head-shaped opening is of primitive simplicity and exquisite craftsmanship, collected in the Gansu Provincial Museum. It was unearthed at the Dadiwan site in Chin'an County, Gansu Province in 1973. It is the only gourd-shaped colored pottery bottle with a human head-shaped opening among the thousands of cultural relics unearthed at the Dadiwan site. This bottle is like a girl with a sharp nose, a small mouth, regular features and straight bangs. It is an outstanding artwork combining painted pottery, sculpture and modeling arts in the prehistoric period of China. Look, there are the dueling rectangular thing from Henan, the stone tomb, gate carved with Sogdian world patterns from Ningxia, the bird-shaped zone of Jin Marquis from Shanxi, the silver jug with the gilt dancing horse patterns from Shanxi, and the golden mask of Princess of Qin State from Inner Mongolia. Throughout the history of China, the Yellow River and its surrounding areas have exerted a significant influence on human civilization and are the most important birthplace of the Chinese nation. The three cities, 300 miles and 3,000 years cultural tourism activities was held in Zhengzhou, Kaifeng and Luoyang to showcase the brilliant Central Plains culture as an essential part of the China Yellow River Culture Month activities. It aims to preserve, inherit and carry forward the Yellow River culture, support ecological, 
protection and high quality development of the Yellow River Basin. It makes every effort to enhance its image as the main landmark city of Yellow River culture and in an international tourism destination along the Yellow River Basin. Do you want to see all the treasures of China's nine provinces and autonomous regions along the Yellow River in the same museum? Come to the new Jingzhou Museum!